and we're gone. How is it going, boys and girls? Darbus Barbus here, and welcome back to another ranked 3v3 Joust video. And today, we are slamming more Caffrey, which I've been enjoying a lot recently. At first, I was like, wow, I really don't want to have to play so many games of Caffrey because I feel like it's not good content and I feel like it's not going to be that fun. But now that we're a few videos into it i don't know how many like six or something i really enjoy this character there's a lot of fun stuff you could do on him he has a fun kit and now that 9.5 was reverted you have so much poke potential as well as saving your teammates with your ult even stronger and now that i'm trying to get a lot higher in joust kefri's not I and mean, kefri's like average but he's not bad and he's fun to play in this game mode so get the dash down he set back up again. The thought said. Um, it was the shell and Aegis at least. They were pretty slow to follow up on that. But yeah. I've been... Oh, okay, they're both way back. The Vulcan's low, so it makes sense for him to be back. Is he dead? No, but the Ymir is. This guy dashed forward, but we don't really have much kill potential. Imagine, 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 imagine. Fuck, I did not mean to put the point to my one. See, this is what I mean. Look how much value I'm able to get on Kefri. I mean, it's also because, you know, they're making mistakes and playing very poorly on the enemy team, but, you know, Kefri can capitalize on it, which is nice. But yeah, today's video concept. I want to show you guys a cool little blink Kefri trick, because, um, I don't know why the Thoth stayed, but there's a cool little trick you can do on Kefri where you can ult them and then blink away and it looks really cool, or you could blink towards them if they're out of range. You hit those Vulcan? Okay, he missed. Unfortunate. Um, you could blink, you can ult them and then blink away, which basically, like, guarantees they're gonna live because you save them with their ult, and then not only do you carry them away a, di a good di a distance by your, like, just base kit, but if you blink after that too, they literally always live. And a lot of the time, people will be out of- your fall to Hands are now, man. Um, people will be- out of range of Caffrey ult a lot, and you could blink towards them and then save them that way, and that also is very satisfying. So it's just a lot of potential you can have on um, Blink Caffrey, which sounds like a meme, but it's unironically not. It's not bad at all. So I just wanted to showcase that in today's video, but if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by subscribing. It really would mean the world to me. I want to hit 1k by the end of the year, and we're getting closer and closer to that every single day. No! If I don't have him grabbed there, he he just dashes out. But if I grab him, I pull him out. It's just that's a sad situation. Maybe I could have let go of him, and he wouldn't have expected it. I mean, he died no matter what. But like, it's nice to improve off of it for a potential different situation that could come up in the future. You guys have any video concepts you want to see though on Kefir or on whatever? Let me know. I'm down to do mostly anything. I'm prob I'm probably not gonna do like full defense Thanatos or something like that, but I'll do some goofy shit if that's what you guys wanna see. Our Kefri is level eight now, I think though. But even once we get like Kefri level ten, I'll probably be playing a good amount of Kefri in the Um like the hour long tryhard joust videos I post. Or I'm going to start posting. I've only posted one at this point. And I do like Caffrey, so he'll probably be played in those games as well. Yeah. If you're, um... If you're wondering, if you're trying to, like, improve as a player, 
um, like the number one thing you could do that like a, every bronze player should learn is that if you're about to die and you have a Kefri, run at your Kefri. Don't run away from him. Um, also, a second tip, if you're not a bronze player, I might be dead here. Yeah, I'm just dead there. I was ranting, not ranting, but one for the Vulcan. Um, he expected saved there, so he ran out of range because he expects me to get out of hit, hit him out of my range. Really, really horrible mindset by this Vulcan or just like decision making. If you're low, make sure you're in range of your Kefri, or else he literally can't save you. Believe it or not, what is this Chiron doing? Okay. And two, if a Kefri ults you and you're near tower, run under the tower. The tower will kill you, the tower will then proc the Kefri ult, and then you'll get brought to Kefri. Mulan's options there were run away, and then wait for my ult to wear off, but then kill her, or go under tower. The tower kills her, she teleports to me and lives, and she chose to walk in a straight line and die after my ult cancels. Very basic stuff. I thought like 99% of people would know, you know? You have to be in range of Kefri, and you can also run under a tower to die when Kefri has you ulted. But, ouch, but this is not, this is like the dozenth time I've seen this happen. It happens so often, people just don't understand how to play the game. This guy's dead, by the way. I don't know why he walked up. Vulcan's flanking. Did Vulcan miss that? This Vulcan's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Try to body block for him. This Chiron might be dead. Is it worth me dying for this Chiron? Yeah, yeah. Two for one trade is so worth it. Both of their damage for our Guardian, that's such a valuable trade. Unless they kill the Vulcan here. Okay, he missed literally all three abilities on Vulcan. What the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> And he missed all three abilities again. I mean, he landed the wall, I guess. So one out of six abilities, but that's still really, really bad. Vulcan did not deserve to live that. <laughs> not at all, but Kefri just kind of... Or not Kefri, um, Ymir just kind of missed literally almost everything. But you know what happens from time to time. Where is he walking? Just go under tower and you live! Just go under tower and you live twice now! I'm setting you up so well and you're just deciding not to live! It's a decision too, it's not like it's like a mistake, it's a decision, you're actively choosing to die. What's this guy doing? Boom under tower. I don't have anything else for this Vulcan. That might kill him. Vulcan really needs to land a bit more of his ones. He can't be missing them. I missed the one too, as well, to be fair. <coughs> yeah, this cap is Vulcan is so far out of position. He did awesome me when I died, so. Gonna be returning every awesome to him. We get the breastplate though, the 20% cooldown will be nice. I'm gonna tell this Mulan that when I alter and she gets low, run under the fucking tower. Cause that's the second time. Usually, like, I never say anything if it's only once, but two fucking times where you're literally 5 HP and instead of running under tower, you try to walk away. Like, what? Just go under tower. But this breastplate gives us 20% cooldown, so. You know, very good. Oh, 
I'm dead. So that's both DPS for the Guardian again, so that's incredibly good for us. See, that's just the second time the DPS have double suicide traded for me. And it's so valuable. We get so much and they lose so much just to kill a beetle. It's a very bad trade for them. I think I want to go Heartward next to minimize the Thoth damage a lot. Plus the Ymir is actually putting work. The Ymir is the Ymir's definitely their best player on their team. I have an ultimate, they shouldn't ever die there, yeah. Or no, not bad. Um, by the way, I do want to point this out. I maxed my one. That was not on purpose. That was a battle. I really thought she was going to get hit by that Ymir ult and the tower. I should have just ulted that. I could have ulted when I saw the tower shot. That was just a really, that was a really bad. That was probably my worst Kefri ult in a long time. That was a bad ult. But I did not mean to max the one. That was not even autopilot because I've never done that before. I have no idea why I maxed the one. Not on purpose, probably shouldn't do that. To be fair, um, you get a lot of damage, mitigation or reduction, I'm not sure which one from Kefri one. Like a body block for her here. So it's not like a horrible, but I like the poke the three has, and the two is definitely Kefri's most valuable. Mm. Actually, I really don't think the two is Kefri's most valuable ability. I think that's kind of bait. Okay, thought let his Chiron die to break my shield. Just kill. I don't think I can kill him there. Nah, I can't. Unfortunate. Oh! Why would he walk backwards there? What a madman! I want to get a Curse Weaver, and I also want to get a. What, what do I want last item? I could go Curse Weaver Gem of Iso. And maybe if I go Gem of Iso, the Vulcan would land half his abilities. Fucking Kefri, your ultimate is for me, fucking bot. You're by far the worst player in this lobby. I don't know how you could be telling anybody that they're a bot when you're by far the worst player in the lobby. Okay. He fucked up. He probably would have killed me there if he just timed it a bit better. I really thought that blink would put me into range. And we're not killing him ever. Nice, I got a lot of that gold too. This is the bee's knees. I think I'm gonna go Curse Weaver in the Gem of Iso. I don't know why this little rat is speaking to me anyways. He's clicking one off of a Kefri grab and a Kefri grip pin. Sub skill needed for that. Maybe I didn't even land the one. He missed the one that his turret killed, I'm pretty sure. This guy's not afraid of me at all. My damage is kind of insane. Not enough damage to kill.
My CC is going insano mode right now. Like, he's just always out of position. Yeah, like, I don't know. He's just always doing the wrong thing. He's following up on my CC, I guess, which is more than 99% of Joust Mages do. So I guess it could be worse. I'll be honest, Mulan, I don't think we're going to do much here. I really wanted to hit them both, which was greedy. That was a weird ult to do. Unless she was trying to ult the Chiron, but he was already gone. I don't have anything up for you. I have a shell. That's it. Is that kill? Damn it. Okay, luckily they went on me because I'm not killable and Mulan is. Maybe Mulan's also not killable. Maybe it doesn't really matter who they went on there. Realistically, she's probably easier to kill than me at this point though. Get the Curse Weaver into a Gem of Iso. I think that's the play. Is it the good, the, like the right play? I don't know fully. I only have 20% cooldown. I don't want to wait till the minion aggro's here. Mulan was just taking the Phoenix. I think that was the right play. Just to guarantee we get the Phoenix. Dude, Zemir keeps fucking accidentally walling my gra my grabs. Let's smack this Titan a little bit and then leave. What would I go instead of Gem of Iso? Because I feel like Gem of Iso might not be the best in the game. I mean, it makes diving the Thoth ten times easier. But all of these fights have just been going... Either the Chiron kills himself before the fight begins, or I hit a 3 on someone and we kill them. That seems to be how the fights have been going. I'm gonna go with Gem of Iso anyways. I think it's kind of in my mind already. This is the bee's oh, I gave my cats tuna. Why is she dead? I looked away for five seconds. I gave my cats tuna, and Salem's down in the can right now. Let me proc you with Cur Curse Weaver. What? And we're gone. I might have to die here. I don't think there's a way I can get out. Yeah, there's no way I can get out of here. I don't know, I don't mind my build. It probably could be better, but I don't think it's bad. 
I think it's a viable build. Welcome to it, OP. Can't land it, just barrel stuff. Same thing that Uller and Thanatos does. Remember if Vulcan 1 moves faster than Uller, Axe, and Thanatos Scythe? It probably does. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of <sighs> live egg. We got a lot of pressure off of them. One for one trading for me again. Wonder how he died up there. Because I doubt they killed him, unless the Chiron killed him. The Chiron definitely seems to be the lowest elo person in the game. I don't know if he is, but like... Based on how all six of us are playing, he seems to be playing the worst. Look, he was not in that circle. The Chiron. I don't have an ultimate, and I know my Vulcan's gonna end. Yep. I had a feeling. Really good wall by V. Ymir, to be fair. I'm gonna try to body block for her. Did he use an ability? Is that why he died there? I'm gonna keep Ymir here. Because Chiron can't tank a Phoenix, so he can't get Phoenix if Ymir is back here. Is worth it, big man? I'm just trying to waste all your time so my teammates can respond. Waste his ult. And I successfully wasted the entire death pool bounce, so my teammates are able to come up and we lose nothing. I don't know why this Ymir is such a fanboy. We can get our starter now, the breastplate. Obviously I don't need any more guns. Or do I? Okay, um, how do we win this? I guess we just gotta... The Vulcan just throw the game. Nice. I don't know why Vulcan entered again. I feel like I can just tank this one. Wait, this guy's dead. I think this Mulan are popping off. Can we get his minion in? I will murder you. you have slain an enemy. I meant it. You thought I was joking. I wasn't joking. Nonetheless, I think that is going to be game, though. Yeah, it's definitely a game. Nonetheless, if you find your, found yourself enjoying this video and you made it this far, why not subscribe? I post every single day, so obviously you enjoyed something about this video, so just join the Darbles, okay? And enjoy the content. Nonetheless, have an amazing rest of your night. Peace. Comes out, cause she just left her with you